So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly build a list of targeted prospects who are following your competitors on LinkedIn. Now you might be wondering why would we want to do this, but when it comes to building lists, you really want to find people who are more likely to be interested in what you have to say or to sell. When you build a list just based on a job title or a persona, there's no way of understanding what their likelihood of being uh, in need of a solution or aware that they even have a problem. However, if you have competitors, especially if you're a smaller company and you have com competitors who have quite a big presence on LinkedIn, you know that the people who are following the competitors are more likely to be aware of the challenges uh, and of the pain points that you can help solve with your product or service. So what I'm going to show you is how you can go and go do that and build that list of the different prospects. So we've got the ideal clients in the middle and then closest to those would be the competitors and then also influencers. So other people that speak to the same audience as you, if somebody is talking, um, let's use the example of HR technology and uh, return to work policies and that's the service or software you offer. If there's somebody who is publicly talking about return for work, then the people who are following that influencer or engaging in those posts are going to be more likely to be aware of the problem and the challenges of that return to work. Just a basic example here. So we first of all want to locate the links of company uh, competitors or influencers linked in company pages, bit of a mouthful. Now let's just take that example of the HR tech. So let's say that I sell a, um, uh, a software that helps with holiday, uh, holiday allowances and when people wanna book their holiday. It's very simple technology. Now Charlie HR is a pretty well-known uh, HR technology company and they have 16,000 people that follow Charlie HR. Hi Bob is another one which have uh, 65,000 followers who are following Hi Bob, and it's a HR tech for company culture and employee engagement. So my guess is that the majority of people that follow Hi Bob and Charlie HR are most likely HR professionals or early stage uh, founders. Um, it would be the founder to begin with, and as the company grows, they bring in a HR person, but they probably all experience issues with holiday requests and vacation tracking. So what I want to do is put those links, so simply the link here, the link here, put that into a spreadsheet, and then go to scrapely.cloud. Here's Scrapely, I've clicked on the pricing already. Now, what you need to do is to put in the competitor's website URL or LinkedIn URL, you can paste them in here as well. So once you've got them from the spreadsheet, you just simply paste in here, put your name and email, and then within, within about an hour, you'll receive a quote from the team. And this is just an example I did earlier. So Charlie HR has 15,800 followers and it's going to cost me $55. So it works at around $38 per 10,000 results. Now, of course, if you have lots of companies, competitors with huge following, then it's going to cost you more. But if you have um, lots of competitors with smaller followings, you'll still get some really good data. The one thing to take into account is that this data still needs to be deduplicated once you receive it back. But here's the format of that message, or of the data. You get the LinkedIn profile URL of the individual, the full name, the company name, their job title, their LinkedIn company URL, industry, and the person's location as well. So once you have all of that data, and you've obviously paid for the Scrapely service to go through and do that, you want to then put it into a tool like Clay. It doesn't have to be Clay, but I find it the best for enriching data. And then using OpenAI to filter for the ideal client profile, that's your ICP, and enrich that data in Clay. Enriching could be finding out more information about the company they work for, such as um, yeah, more information. It could be getting their email address. The reason why you want to filter it though is because the, not everybody who follows a company follows it because they want to use that service or they are a customer of that company, but it helps you narrow that down. And then once you've got that data and of course you've verified the emails, you want to enroll them into an email sync sequence or a LinkedIn campaign. So this play just assumes that somebody is interested in the competitor's service or product um, and you should just aim to be on their radar so that you're top of mind when they are motivated to take action or when they're looking for a solution for their specific problem. It's not perfect by any means at all, um, but it's much more targeted than just building a list of the uh, job titles or personas. And if you're looking for immediate meetings and booking and getting replies to book meetings, then perhaps this play isn't right for you. 
But I would encourage you to think about this in a slightly longer term or slow burn, that being there and showing up for when people uh, come to needing a solution like yours, this evergreen sort of campaign is going to be able to help you do that. So that's how you go from the competitor LinkedIn company account, uh, company pages to get all of the uh, data here, put them into Clay and then enroll them into a LinkedIn or to a email outbound uh, sequence. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I enjoy kind of sharing video tutorials like this. And if there's specific ones you want me to cover, please also let me know. No. See you soon.